Hello, welcome to Stephens Crypto. Just a quick update here on Bitcoin before we start. As always, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to join my trade signal group where I give daily trade alerts, then check out the first link in the description below this video. So uh, yeah, in this video, we're going to look into Bitcoin. And um, what you can see here on the chart is the entire Bitcoin range from of the low here on the 18th of June 2022 at $17,500 here um, until where we are right now. So I'm going to measure the uh, um, entire fixed range support and resistance levels of this entire range and what you can actually see is that we are struggling here around the point of control at 19.8k at the moment so the uh, strongest uh, support cluster of this entire range and um, yeah it looks like we are trying to flip it into support and uh, if we are managed if we can do that then uh, i can definitely see bitcoin rising towards this at least this blue line here at 22.5k um, yeah at the moment it is a bit of a hard structure to measure uh, by the way if we lose this support i can see bitcoin dropping to 18.9k because there we have this blue line the value area low uh, very strong support level so at the moment, this entire range here is very hard uh, to count in terms of an Elliott uh, wave uh, structure. It's very hard. It is still very likely that the bottom was in here at 17.5k, but we cannot rule out that Bitcoin can make slight lower lows. Can we go to $10,000? I think that is very unlikely, but it is definitely a possibility that we can make slight lower lows maybe to 15 or 16k at the moment i don't forecast it i think it is still also likely that we can uh, move up from here um considering i can see weakness in the uh, us dollar chart and um yeah may, uh, also some other things uh, but at the moment yeah it is looking weak um, we are not getting a big bounce up but uh, yeah we are still uh, around support so no reason uh, to sell our positions um, yeah what can we expect in the immediate short term if i draw a fib fibonacci retracement here from this top here at 25.2k to this bottom here at uh, what is it 18.4k uh, we can actually see that we got exactly rejected uh, at the um, if i disable the log scale we got exactly rejected here at 22.6k at the golden fibonacci ratio which is obviously a typical uh, resistance target um, yeah but even if we are uh, even if we are bearish even if you are saying that this was our first uh, impulse towards the downside our first wave one and we came up in a wave two i still need a three wave structure in a wave two to come up and i will show you what i mean um so even if you say bitcoin is going to make lower lows you would still expect upside price action because if this was a wave one then you would now expect an ABC move towards the upside for Bitcoin. So that can look something like this um, because a, an ABC correction is always in a three wave move before you head down lower. So even if we are bearish, I still do expect Bitcoin to rise slightly higher price targets. And um, we can also calculate that because if we say that this was the A, and if we already finished the b wave where can the c wave then go we can calculate that if we uh, measure the length of the wave a here to the top to the bottom of the wave b if the bottom is in of the wave b then our first price target is 21.9k that is the 0.618 fibonacci extension of the uh, wave a and our second price target lies lays around the 23.6k if i do it on the log scale i believe it's slightly higher it's yeah slightly the same so um yeah that's definitely what you could expect for the c wave to come at least to this level here or perhaps maybe even towards this level here if we are bearish if we are bullish of course there is a different scenario then this could be our wave one towards the upside because you can clearly count five waves one two three four and five and then this could be our wave two to the downside before we heading up higher that's also a really a realistic possibility where we should stay open for so that's what you basically can expect in the uh yeah in the short term actually for bitcoin and if we look at the indicators the four hourly uh, indicators are very oversold right now um, we're having a bullish divergence here if i zoom in a little bit you can see that the price here is creating uh, lower lows here but the rsi indicator is creating higher lows so that's actually a confirmed bullish divergence and that will most likely lead to 
at least reduced selling pressure, but most likely to a reversal towards the upside to maybe a retracement or maybe the start of the next uh, uh, wave up. That's also a possibility. Also, if we go to the eight hour chart, we can also see that we are losing bearish momentum. The bulls are getting more momentum here. Uh, I think we even have, uh, no, we don't have a bullish divergence here, but we are extremely oversold. So <clears throat> these are not the signals you would normally expect when we are going to drop aggressively towards the downside. This is pointing more towards upside price action, in my opinion. Um, if we go to the one hourly time frame, we can already see what is actually a, a bad sign is that uh, we have a three wave structure here. It can still develop to a five wave move, but at the moment it looks fairly corrective. Also, there is no volume here in this last uh, move towards the upside. Um, and we can also see that we are already losing bullish momentum here on the one hourly time frame, which is not a good sign, of course. Um, but yeah, it can still kick in. It is too too early to draw any conclusions. Uh, I mean, we got rejected around the twenty thousand US dollars, which is of course a um, yeah a strong uh, resistance area at the moment, which we can probably also see here. Yeah, there is just a lot of resistance at the 20,000 US dollars and also at the 20.1k. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm uh, pretty neutral on Bitcoin at the moment. I think in the immediate short term, we can expect some more upside price actions. Um, yeah, but we should uh, stay open for uh, yeah all possibilities that uh, uh, even in the bearish scenario, I do expect us first to come up a little bit before eventually heading down. But I think at the moment the bottom is in. I'm still leaning more towards that the bottom is in. And if the bottom is not in, the bottom is probably extremely close for Bitcoin right now. So that's basically what, I, what I'm seeing on the chart. Uh, also, the US dollar currency index, as I told you before, the DXY is today is not uh, tr uh, traded here. So, um, yeah, we have a lot of uh, bearish signals on the DXY. If I go to the daily time frame here, uh, I think you can definitely chart the DXY. I don't know why people think it's not possible to chart an index. I think it is possible. Uh, what we can see here clearly on the daily time frame is that the RSI indicator is creating lower lows here clear lower lows while the price action is creating higher lows here so actually a bearish divergence which eventually will play out we will see that uh, trend reversal towards the downside we are also pretty overbought so i think um, it is likely to head towards the downside also here in the four hourly time frame we are pretty oversold here overbought here so i do expect more downside price action and it looks fairly corrective right now so Actually, I'm pretty bullish on crypto and on Bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum at the moment uh, is losing a lot of strength against Bitcoin. However, uh, at the moment, we can actually see that Ethereum is forming this double bottom here on the cluster algorithm indicator. And that usually means to uh, that upside price action is literally around the corner. We are not forming any bullish divergence on the four hourly time frame, unfortunately. Um, or do we? Actually... Let me see. Actually, no, slightly not. But we are uh, yeah, clearly oversold here. So I do expect Ethereum very soon to get a pump towards the upside. Also, 8-hour losing a lot of bearish momentum. And it looks like uh, Ethereum wants to push towards the upside. So first critical resistance at 15, probably even $1,500. But at this level here, 1590, we have even stronger resistance for ethereum so that's basically my view on bitcoin and ethereum make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment below for the uh, youtube algorithm and if you want trade signals with exact entry prices stop losses and take profit targets then check out the first link in the description below this video thanks a lot for watching see you in the next one Bye bye